Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Shannon. Uh, thank you for watching this DVD. We have another good lesson for you today. It's taken from 1 Kings chapter uh, 6 and verse number 7 and verse number 14. And also 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse number 5. And we call this lesson Preparing People to Fit into the Holy Temple. Please stay tuned. Chapter 6 and verse number 7. And First Peter 2 and verse number 5 will be the two passages primarily that we will use in this lesson this morning. Now I hope that you have come to receive the word with all readiness of mind. I hope you have come for that purpose. I hope that you will really listen, especially our young people. I want you to listen and look at yourself this morning. This lesson may be a little shocking to some of you. It may hurt you. It may cause you to lose your mind uh, uh, yeah that too uh, may cause you to act strange but this lesson is going to hurt somebody but it's not my intentions this lesson is designed to help us as a church to grow and develop it takes time, teaching of the truth yes, sir. for this to work. If you don't have time to teach the truth, leave it alone. Right. Now, in our lesson today, we're going to look at two houses or two temples. Solomon's temple that he was dispatched to build, David his father, could not do the building of the house because he was a warrior. But he gave David the instructions and David gave the instruction to Solomon. Yes, You'll find that in 1 Chronicles chapter 28 and 29. Please listen. Got it? So we're going to talk about this morning here, preparing people. Listen carefully. Preparing people to fit. And do this. F-I-T. To fit into the holy temple. Yes, sir. You're going to have to really listen this morning. You got to listen. I have some graphics, and I hope that it will cause you to pay a little attention, a little carefully. And I may not finish this lesson this morning, but I'll do work on it tonight. Man. And we'll be recording this. Uh, lesson tonight by CD. Yes, sir. Uh, so I want you to listen. I want you to look at yourself. Okay? Amen. Everybody still with me? Now I announced the subject. Now we're going to raise it up so you can see it. You know, sometimes, Brother Fox, you know, you can tell people something. They hear you, but they don't hear you. But when they see it, they get it. I want you to see it now. Preparing people. Let's stop here a moment. Brethren, do you know we're in the people business? Amen. 
there's some people in our families that need to be prepared. Yes, sir. Listen, you need to listen. Preparing people for what reason? To fit into. Fit into. Wait a minute. Fit. Fit. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 and verse uh, number 16 that we are fitly joined together. Yes, sir. You know, fit, fit like a hand in a glove. Yes, sir. Fit. Now watch this man. A foot in a shoe. Fit. If there's anything in your shoe like a rock, and you put your foot in there, it's not fitting right. Right. Got to get that rock out of there. A little piece of sand in that shoe can, man, I, you, you just can't function. We got some stuff that's keep us from fitting these. Right. Are you fitting? Now, you need to listen. Fox, you see it? You, 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 you think you see it. You stay here. <laughs> You see it already. Fitly to fit into, watch it. The, only one, holy temple. Uh -huh. Now we're going to look at Solomon's temple and how it was built. And let me tell you something. It took seven years seven years to build this temple. Right. Amen. Amen. It had about 30,000 men. I think you're beginning to see it. 30,000 men. 10,000 work at one time. Another 10,000 work. Then another, are you listening? Oh. Good. Some of the stones in Solomon's temple were, listen to me, 38 or 39 feet long mm -hmm. and six feet deep. Yes, sir. There was no tractors or cranes. How are they going to bring all this stuff and they cut the stone? Listen to me now. You need to listen. They cut the stones out of a mountain. How are you going to get that stone to Jerusalem? Right. The cedars that they use from Lebanon, the trees. How are we going to get these big trees from Lebanon where king, the king of the heathen country are tired hiring there? How are we going to get them over there? No tractors. They was, don't you think the people back in those days were stupid people, no, primitive, no, didn't sir. have any sense. No, you may be like that, but let me tell you something, this is smart, this is smart people today. Amen. Now how are we going to get all this stuff to Jerusalem? How are they going to do it? I don't know how they did it, but I do know one thing, it took them seven years to do it. Watch this now. I'm just kind of telling you. Every stone that went into this building, it was pre-cut before it got there. Right. No, you, no you're not listening. You, you really don't hear. And you young people, you're really not listening. Now watch this here now. Say that you got to bring all these stones for this huge building and 30 some feet long and six feet high, mm -hmm. and you got to bring it, say you got to bring it from Little Rock, Arkansas. How you gonna do it? How you gonna get that there? <clears throat> Let me show you something. Somebody was smart. Somebody had to be a leader, talk yes, to them. Yes, Are you listening to me? I remember one time I bought a mixer, a mixer to mix dough. 
and the mixer weighed 1,500 pounds. 1,500 pounds. I went and got it, had the guy, they took a lift and put it on my truck. And the back end of the truck sat down. I took it off the truck and took it by from here to Sister Patty's office by myself. No, Brother Shannon, you lying, no, huh? But I learned from the Vietnamese how to move stuff by yourself without some help. What did you do? I got some broomsticks. Now, that's long. Are you listening to me? And I built, put it on a, a sheet of plywood, and I took the uh, mixer and raised it up with a jack. You know, the floor jack? And got it on there, and guess what I did? And just pushed it a little at a time, stopped, put another board down, put some sticks, push it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it in there. And somebody said, how you get that in there? I said, uh, you know what the little bluebird said when he went in the hole? What is that? A heap sea, but a few know. <laughs> You better get that. You, right. you, you're not listening. You, you need to listen to this lesson. Now, that pretty good? good? Everything fitted. Everything. When they put this building together, there was not a sound of a hammer or axe or nothing. It just, look. They brought it in a fit. It was perfect. It was precise. What are you going to talk about, Brother Santa? People who come into the church need to be cut and squared right. so they'll fit in. Good a lot of people who've been immersed in water, they don't fit right. because they came in with a lot of junk and never got rid of it. Amen. Oh, boy, I think you, you see it, Mike? Do you see it coming? Oh, yeah. But anyway, let's go a little further here now. That, that's good. I just want to explain that. Got it? Now this temple over here is a whole lot more important than this temple. Right. But we always looking at the physical side. Right. But the here spirit, the holy temple in the Lord. Uh, amen. Holy temple in the Lord over here. That pretty good? good? Amen. Now, amen. That's good. Let's look at this now. Look at this. All right. Good. First Kings chapter 5. 1 through 12. Please listen. You're trying to go to sleep. Wake them up. But I'll come down this morning and I'll just tap them. Uh -uh. Hey, Mackenzie, it's not you, Coach. I've got you trained. He, <laughs> he's well trained. He won't go to sleep. There's some more in here trying to sleep. Now listen here. The material to build the temple. Yes, sir. Where are you going to get the material from? The king hiring there. Guess what happened? He was friend with David. David couldn't build it, but Hiram was a friend with David, and, and Solomon got hooked up with him. Right. So you had to have the material to build the temple, but also you had to have the what? Man yes, have to have what? Man power. What? Man power. Yes, and then you got to what? Make another temple. Yes, sir. Now, wait a minute. You got to see this, man. Look how this is coming together. You got the material. Watch it. You got the manpower. And you got to have the making. Now, over here, this one over here, you got to have the manpower, the material, and the message. Talk to me, somebody. Look at it now. Look at it. Look here. Where are you going to get the material from? In the Word. Yes, sir. Where do you get the material to build the house, the holy house? You get them from the Word. Man. Where did Solomon get the material? He got it from the heathens. Jesus. But guess what? Every stone that they got, it, all of them didn't fit. Look at this wall over here. Everybody look at the wall. Look at the wall. See that wall over there? 
that wall is up, but each one of those stones were cut precise. Right. Look at them. Look at the wall. Not a missing. Right. When they put them up there, they are steadfast. They're holding. Yes, they hold, maintain their place. Yes, now look at yourself in the church. Where are you? Amen. You say you were baptized. Yep. What does that mean? Right. Just because you went down in the water, that means think that you all right? Brethren, listen to me. We got too many people who have been immersed in water and left here running and they were not converted to Christ. Right. Right. They don't fit. Amen. They don't fit. They got the world in them. Good, People that fit, they stay. Look, they stay. look at that. It is they there. How many of you see them left? We've been here almost 20 some years. None of these bricks have left. No, sir. Doing their job. Yes, sir. Not, how many of the bricks left? Look, look over there. You've been coming here all these years. None of these bricks, they still maintain the place. But these are, these are dead stones here. But Peter said over here, we are lively stones. Yes, sir. What do you mean? We are steadfast, we are spiritual, we are sanctified, we are serving, and we are supervised by the Savior. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, boy. That's good? Good. And now let's look at the structure here. Let's run down to verse 7. This is pretty good, Fox. Huh? Do you see it, Fox? Fox, I see it now. All right, let's read it. You got it up there, Rico? I want everybody to see this. What does it say? And the house. What? And what? The house. This is what we're talking about right here. And the house. When it was in building. When it, the house, was in building. Mm -hmm. What? Was built of stone. What? Wait a built. minute. We, now look, we got the structure. There it is. Structure. Watch it. Let's look at the stone. Read it. Was built of stone. Of what? Of stone. Of what? Stone. Stone signified toughness. Right. Mm -hmm. Stone signified something uh, immovable. Stone signified weight. Right. Talk to me, somebody. It signifies stability. Talk to him. Are you a stone? Yep. Mm. Are you a stone in the church of Christ? Mm. Yep. Hold it. When you want to hold something down, you put a stone and talk to the somebody. Man. Stone. All right. It, the stone mm -hmm. was built of what? Stone. What else? Made ready before it was brought thither. Wait a minute. Suitable. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm. Wait a minute. I told you it took them seven years yes, sir. to build this house. Right. right. Seven years. Sometimes we want to teach. Listen to me. People hear one sermon. And they never heard nothing in their life. And they walk down there. All, sometimes all they hear is baptism. Right. And see in Church of Christ, we got that bad putting a lot of emphasis on baptism. Yes, right. And the reason we put a lot of emphasis on baptism is because Baptists say you don't have to have it. But brethren, it's more than taking a person down into the water. Right. right. That's good, preacher. There's some teaching that must precede water baptism. Right. If it's not, all you doing is taking a wet devil, watching a, a dry devil, pan him, bring him up a wet devil. Ain't no changes. Right. Because the changes got to take place here. Right. Uh, listen to me. I'm going to use somebody example. Can I, 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 when I was making this sermon, I thought about him. A guy named Booker T. Dean, uh, Dina. Y'all may not know him. He came in here, came in here three years ago, walked down the aisle, and obeyed the gospel. Yeah. And I really thought I was doing something. I said, man, I preached one little short sermon, and that man obeyed the gospel, and he stopped coming. But right. here was the catch here. Here was the catch. That man, that man had listened to five, 500 sermons on, on, on uh, YouTube. Right. 500 sermons. Right. And when he came here, he said, I know what I'm doing. Right. He had cut all that stuff out of him. He said, I am coming to Christ, and when I'm baptized into Christ, I'm there. He's going to place me in the body, and I've got to serve. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Well, we, however, we had a meeting. We baptized 40 people. Three weeks later, you don't know where none of them are. All right. 
Yes, sir. What happened? He didn't want no pre-cutting. Wasn't no teaching. We tell our young, I'm preaching now. We teach our young people, you need to hurry up and be baptized. Hurry up and be baptized. Wait a minute. Teach them about Christ first. Right. That's good, preacher. They don't know nothing about Christ and being committed to Christ. Yep. You taught them, just be baptized. You unfaithful, and you tell them, y'all be, be baptized, and they turn out the same way. Amen. Right, preacher. This is a hard sermon this morning. Right. Help them. Need help, preacher. Then you got to run at them. Send them letters. Guess what? They ain't coming. Why? They won't fit here. Amen. See, because you've got so much worldliness in you until you didn't cut that stuff out before baptism. Amen. And you thought baptism was a miracle worker. Right. You're going, oh, no. You've got to clean your mind up first. Right. Amen. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. When I obeyed the gospel, it took me years. From 29 to 32, that's when I obeyed. Started 29 study. Studying with a man that went to Chelsea Avenue Church of Christ. And he taught, started teaching me a little. And he taught me a little. I studied three to five years the doctrine of Christ. Mm -hmm. When I came into church, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. Brother saying, are you bragging? No, I'm not bragging. Talking about fact. Nobody had to ever call me that. Are you going to make it to Bible class? Uh, we, we, what? Amen. You're not telling me. I'm converted to Jesus. Amen. I am not converted to the brethren. I'm not converted to the building. I'm converted to Christ. Amen. My wife and family can quit coming to service. I'm not going to quit. Why? Amen. I'm not converted to them. Amen. Converted Amen. to Christ. Amen. Baptize a lot of people. Go out there and look on the bulletin board there and look at all those people that were baptized and you can't find them. Yes, sir. Because they got the false idea if, you, if I just get them in the water, everything will be all right. Uh -huh. They do that same stuff. I'm preaching now. Preach. They do that same stuff. They go out and get a guy, watch it, and baptize. Take him under water, then they marry. Man, you ain't marrying yourself nothing. No. Nope. Right. You think baptism is going to... Taking him down in the water is going to make him change his mind about treating you right. You whistling Dixie. I'm helping somebody this morning. Pray, are y'all praying with me? Amen. Baptized folk here, you got to beg him, beg him to come to service. What? What? Where y'all get that from? A lot of members of the Church of Christ, elders and deacons and preachers, push baptism. Right. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and he preached Christ Amen. to them. Yes, he didn't sir. preach no baptism at first. No, he preached Christ. And they, when they believed Philip, preaching things concerning the kingdom and the name of Jesus Christ, watch this. It, turn over there, Rico. Mm. Boy, this is, I, I, I really hated to preach this last morning. I, I didn't want to preach, but I got to do it. See, because yep. you're going to look at your family, you're going to look at yourself. You, amen. The Bible says in Acts 8, and Acts 8 and verse number 5, it says, what, Fox? Then, at Acts 8 and verse 5, then Philip went down to the city, city of Samaria, Samaria. preached Christ. baptism to him. Christ. The church to him. Christ. Preach what? Christ. When you preach Christ, that's going to include Baptism and all that other stuff. Yes, Preach Christ unto them. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 12. And when they believed Philip, what? Preaching, Preaching the, the thing concerning, concerning the, kingdom, the of kingdom of God and, and the, the name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, Christ, they, they were, were baptized, baptized both men and boys women. and girls. Men and women. Boys and girls. Men and women. Boys and girls. Men and women. Boys and girls. Men and women. All boys and girls. Men and women. No, boys and girls. Men and we, women. Don't, don't we do it? Yes, we need sir. to get our kids baptized. What? Help them. Until your kids watch it, have some conviction, yeah. watch it now. Mm. Getting a little ahead of myself. Till they have some con conviction about Christ, his cross, his commandments, and his church. When they have that conviction, yes, they be really believe that. Yes. Repentance, thinking differently. Watch it. Change of mind about sin. Wait a minute. I see them. 
Come in and be baptized. Watch it. They still got the short dresses on. Make it plain, preacher. Still dressing half naked. Make it plain. Listen to me. Still listen to the same rock gut music. Still mess with the same old stuff on the YouTube. They got the same. They ain't made no changes at all. And, and brother, see, we got to teach like this right. because right. watch it. We just got the congregation. Watch it with a lot of young people who've been immersed in water, but they never was converted to Christ. Right. And now you got to run at them. Amen. A worldly. Yes, sir. That's right. Now you got to teach them. You're going to have to give the world up. Got to. Got to preach. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Suitable mm -hmm. and made ready. What? A person that hasn't heard and believed the gospel. Really believe it. What the Bible teaches about the church and about how you gotta live. Listen, about how you must worship God. Who you are in the church. You are stone now. A stone means that you are active member. Turn over there quickly, Rico. Brother Rico to 1 Peter 2.5. I told you that I wasn't going to be able to finish this because it's just too much good stuff yes, here. Sir, but I've got to see it. Right. Look at 1 Peter. It said, look, ye also uh -huh. as lively stone. Look, look what it said. Over here it says stone. Over here it says lively stone. Right. This word lively means active. Yes, sir. Active. Active. What do you mean? Are you active? Man. Lively stone. Yep. So look, that means steadfast. What else? Are built up as a spiritual house. This is a spiritual house. Now watch this here. A spiritual member. Uh, wait a minute. Are you a spiritual member? What do you mean a spiritual member? You put God's stuff first and worldly stuff you put last. Man. But look at the folk that we've been baptizing and the folk that come in among us. Guess what? It's always physical. Right. Watch it now. When they feud, fuss, and fight, it ain't over spiritual stuff. It's over some ungodly stuff. Right. Preach. 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 Preach it. Preach it. Miss the services? Come on, come to this building. Oh, it's just too cold in here. It's too hot in here. Mm. I don't like the way they did this. See, you calm minded. Right. Ain't going miss services. Miss the spiritual folks. If they're not sick, they don't miss no worship service. Right. Good, but you gotta beg these people who you forced in to fit. They don't fit in here. And they'll fit good at the nightclub because right. that's what they like. Yes, Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. They'll fit being good there. I won't fit in here. Amen. Amen, preacher. Are you fitting? Help us, preacher. Amen. Help us. What does it say? And holy priesthood. Sanctified members. What does sanctified mean? Sanctified. It means you're going to set apart for the use of the Lord. Sanctified. Are you sanctified? You want to uh, attribute that to the church of God in Christ. Those people are not sanctified no, because you can't be sanctified without the blood of Jesus. But brethren, when you are sanctified, them through thy truth, thy word is true. John 17, 17. Now, are you living a sanctified life when you come out of the water? Are you still watching, messing around with somebody, not your wife or yeah. husband? Yeah. Are you running with another woman and you're a woman? Are you running with another man and you're a man? You're in the bed with each one. Talk to me. You ain't made no changes. Amen. And then folks in the church who are calm minded, they'll look, oh, everybody got their fault. Man, wake up. Amen. The devil loves that stuff. Yes, Homosexuality and lesbianism in practice in the church. Fornication and adultery is practice, and we sit up and look at it. See, you're calm minded. Spiritual minded people, that will disturb them. Yes, sir. Well, Shannon, you're crazy. You're cra no, I'm preaching the truth. What I'm doing is preaching the truth. And these children need to listen. Man, right. Don't be sending up texts and messages. 
talking about you're going to go down and be baptized. You're not even paying any attention to the sermon. Amen. You're calm minded. Amen. God can't use you. You ain't fitting in the church. We may, we may dunk them in the water and, and praise them. And then once all that water get dry, you don't see them no more. Right. Watch this here. The parents don't bring them to Bible class. The parents don't come to Bible class because the parents are calm minded. Amen. Holy priesthood. Mm -hmm. Holy. You're going to be a priest in this temple here. This holy temple and you're not going to be holy. Cussing. Smoking dope. Lying. Cheating. Fornication. Adultery. Laziness on the jobs. Work on a job and, 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 and won't give the people honest day's work and you want to get paid. Crooked. Good. Gotta preach like this. Amen, somebody. Hey, Amen. Y'all praying with me? Amen. Pray with me, brother. Amen. Sister, pray with me. Somebody said, that's what I hate about Brother Shannon. If you're getting mad at me for preaching the truth like this, that's there's true, something man. wrong with you. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with me. That's true, I, check your family out. Folks that have been baptized in your family, where are they? How many times do they beg you to take them to service? But they'll beg you to take them to a football game, right. a basketball game, right. and you'll do it. Yeah. But when it comes to Bible class, it ain't necessary. Amen. Come minded. Amen. Yes, that's, they not fitting in here. See, all that stuff needs to be cut out of you before we fit you in. Because the Lord is one going to add. Right. We just immerse. The Lord adds to the church. Right. He doesn't add people who won't repent. Do you think God going to add somebody to the church that's going to go down in the water? Mm -mm. Repentance and baptism. Right. Change your mind. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Amen. What else? To Be offer up spiritual sacrifice. Wait a minute. S a serving members. Serving. You got to beg somebody to serve God. Mm -hmm. As good as God been up and somebody got to, well, that's all he getting on there. Giving and coming to all the services. Man, I get tired of hearing that. See, you ain't fitting. Amen. You don't fit in this. Mm. You don't fit here. Somebody said, I would go to Jane Road. Brother Shannon, just too hard. No, you ought to want to go to somebody to tell you the truth. Because right. these guys won't tell you the truth. Right. They'll flower it all over and you ain't up in hell with Preach. them. Right. Preach. Amen. Right, preacher. Amen. Right. He's just too hard. he just say anything. No, what am I here for? Just to tell you what you want to hear? Preach. <laughs> what else it says? Ex Read it. Acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Christ is our supervisor. He supervises us through his word. Right. When you don't listen to his word, you're not being supervised. Right. We got too many people who've been dunked in the water. They ain't got no supervision. Amen. Are you, being, are you being supervised? See, and you won't know. See, I can't give you all the preaching on Sunday morning. You got the same book at home. Right. But you'll beat your children with a timber because they make a B or C or D. If they make a F, you probably kill them. <laughs> but you won't even bring the Bible class. And what you're doing is growing up children who be smart end up in jail. Yes, sir. And the right. police ain't going to fool with them. And you go to prison, they're going to have knots on their head. Right. Right. Because you won't mind in prison. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look here. No, you won't mind out here. But when you get in prison, you're going to know how you're going to know your place. Right. right. You get more time than Mike Tyson. <laughs> Help a preacher. That's good, isn't it? Good. Now, you need, they need to know what they're getting ready to get into. That's pretty good. Now, watch this here. Let's go back here to our text. Uh, and, and, and made what? Ready. Before. It what? Was before. Made what? Ready before. Before what? It was brought thither. <clears throat> what is it? Before these stones were brought in, they were cut precise. Yes, sir. Brethren, it takes time to teach people. And members of the church who are teachers, don't be in a hurry to try to teach somebody just to get them baptized. Right, man. I, I used to try to talk people out of being baptized. So no, you don't need to do that. Mm. 
let them ask me to baptize. I ain't going to beg you to baptize you. Because once you learn the truth, you'll beg somebody to baptize. Right. Beg somebody to be baptized. And you beg them to go on down the way. Well, I would go. All that kind of stuff. That's good, preacher. Shankston baptized. <laughs> Brother Shankton begged me to baptize. He didn't even know it. I called him up and said, I want you to meet me at the building. I want to be baptized in water for the mission of sin, and I'm going to be added to the church. He sat down and talked for two or three minutes. He baptized me. I guess he thought he was just baptizing somebody, but I already had my teaching, right. and I hadn't stopped since. Stop for what? Amen. Amen. Shake said, man, you ain't. I said, no. Look here. I need to know about giving. I had to know about giving. I said, well, how am I supposed to give? What about the services? Am I to meet all the services? What about the gospel meeting? You need to make a gospel meeting. Amen. Right? You need to try to live right. Right? And you need to try to bring somebody to Christ. Amen. Right? That's good, preacher. All right. All right. Real good. Well, that's good, isn't it? Well, let's go on here. Silence. Read it, Fox. So that there was neither hammer. Wait a minute. They build this temple. You hear no sound. Mm -hmm. Not from here. Mm -hmm. Why? They brought them in. Boom. Shh. Wait, wait a minute. Y'all know, know what a puzzle is. You young they people know what a puzzle is. And you take the puzzles and you start putting them together. Once you snap them in there, you don't want to take no hammer and beat them in there. Why? Because they, they just designed to fit in the right place. You ain't going to put it anywhere, Mike. Each one of them will cut, put it right in there, right? When you obey the gospel, guess what? You fit right in. Yes, Why? Sir. See, truth don't bother you. It makes you feel good because it's going to make you get better. Man. But when you hear a strong sermon like I'm doing this morning, they say, well, I ain't going back. What well, the thing of it is, you just don't fit. Yes, Man. You don't fit. Oh, right. Somebody said, I don't understand about fit. Well, you know, you have like a, you got a, a football team you like, Mike. What's your team? The Titans. And what's yours? Eagles. Eagles. Now watch this here. See here, they ain't going to get along. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but see, I don't, my brother Petty said they ain't neither one of my teams. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but watch this here. Listen here. Listen here. You, you want to you, you really get in something? Let, let Mike come over there and start to be who raised for his folks. Right. And, and his folks lose it. Right. It's going to be some trouble. Because right. yeah. you don't fit here. You need to get out here. Right. You don't fit. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Somebody say, I don't understand. I don't understand. Somebody say, I don't want to do it like it's here. There's a thing called K, K, K. That's a church, right? Look here. Mike, you think you'll fit there? Go in there with your fist up. Talk about black people. Go on in there. You don't fit there. And when it comes to the church, that worldly stuff just can't fit here. It can't fit here. But we're trying to make the world and stuff fit here. And you got weak members of the churches of Christ watching who like that crazy music that these uh, churches of Christ get involved in. Right. Like the world where they jump and twist and bone. They like that because it reminds them of the nightclub. Right. You still got that junk in you. Right, preacher. Right. That's right. Amen. Well, I want to come here and everything we do is just like the Catholics. Man, I can't stay here. Amen. No, sir. If you want the church of Christ to be like a nightclub, you need better off just going down there when you go in and take your sign and say, this is the church of Christ over here. Because it ain't happening over here. Amen. A lot of folks say, I'll be glad when Brother Shannon die so we can have the kind of music we no, want. Sir. See that? Amen. See, you're not converted. Right. <laughs> Stick with what the scriptures say. Right. Right. Boy, look at my time. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. All right. This is good preaching. Amen. I don't expect nobody to like this. Amen. I don't like that. No, no, no. I don't know about that. All right. It says there were neither hammer so, or neither. axe mm -hmm. or any tool of iron heard right. in the house while it was in building. Today, the lives of people must be cut and squared. Listen to me. 
Listen, where's Jonathan at? You know what I'm talking about. You, you frame houses. Didn't you frame houses? Let me tell you something. You've got, listen here, square. It's got to be cut and square. Here's a piece of wood here. It's got to be cut and square. What are you going to use? You're going to lose the square and you watch it. When you lay it in there, you're going to use the level. Now, once you get it in there, nail it down. Right, man. And once you get it, then put the level on it. If the level says off, take the nails out, put it in there right, take your time, nail it down. Because yes, it's level. Amen. See, people don't know that they need to be cut and squared by the gospel of Christ. Good, Let your fingers go to Ephesians for me, uh, Hebrews 4.12. Let me show you something. Y'all need to get this now. Y'all ought to be jumping up and down. Wait a minute. If your team is winning, Watch it. You'll be jumping up and down in, in the house uh, at the football game, jumping up and down. Am, am I preaching what you want to hear? Amen. You ought to be jumping up and down. Amen. Now, if you want to shout on this, shout. Amen. You don't see nobody shouting, clapping on this. <laughs> Read it. For the word of God is quick. Read it. And powerful. What? And sharper than Hold it. How you going to square people up? With the word of God. Yes, it'll cut every all that drugs and stuff. It'll cut it out of you. Yes, sir. It'll expose it. Amen. Wait a minute. Sharp enough to cut you out of denominationalism. Yeah. Right? Sharp enough to cut tonight. And a lot of members of the Church of Christ still going down to the casino. Right. Still going down. Some of them here. Right. See, you won't fit here. You're still going to the nightclub. You're still drinking. You won't fit here because what he talking, I don't want to hear that. Man. But you go to the nightclub, they don't tell you not to drink. They tell you to drink. Right. And guess what? I like to be here. Pour it up. That's toast. Y'all ever do this? toast? Pour it up. Pour me a shot of it. Yes, sir. Pour me a shot. Pour me another. <laughs> this is on the house. A toast. Only thing we drink here is the Lord's Supper. Yes, sir. Eat the bread and drink the fruit of the vine. And they don't want that. Or they won't make them kick and paw and jump. Right. Don't put crazy stuff in the mind. Hey, but you put that, what, that juice in that head, and you, hey, man, you get a lot of crazy stuff on it. Start looking at women that don't even look good. So, Baby, you look good to me? Honey, you so fine, man. What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with this? See, that don't fit. Right. I'm preaching. You young people need to listen. You young people walk down the aisle and say, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Have you made your mind up that all this sinful stuff that you're doing on the internet and YouTube, have you made it up in your mind you're going to stop? Yes, sir. Yep. See, we want our kids to be baptized and we think, well, they're all right now. Wrong. Right. there got to be a change of heart. Right. When you're baptized, God changes your state. He adds you to the church. Amen. Now you're set apart. You think you're set apart to keep doing the same stuff? Oh boy. And made ready to enter the house, the church. No one is ready to be baptized until they are prepared. It takes time and teaching of the truth. Acts 8 and verse 5. Got it? Hear the truth, believe it about Christ, the cross, and the commands in the church. Conviction, convince. Are you convicted? What about repentance? Thinking different. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you just came and said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and you were baptized in water, and you went right back out and started sleeping with that man that's not your wife? Do you actually think, who you think you're fooling? You're fooling yourself. Because right. anybody that's, listen here, is half crazy and one-eyed can see through that. <laughs> anybody see you, that's, you ain't doing nothing. Right. Ain't no changes. Right. What changes? Amen. Brother, to get up. Say, brother and sister, I've seen, repented. I've been forsaken the assembly and won't see them in six months. Yes, sir. Right. What are you doing? Repentance calls for a change of heart brought about by godly sorrow. 
Amen. You young people, don't run down this aisle. And sometimes we just want to rush our kids. Right. Here. Some of them are real young. They don't know what to do just to be baptized. They need to be taught first right. about sin and remission of sins and what God is going to require of them when they are added to the church. Right. They got to sit in the back, young boy. Why can't you sit up front? What happened? You won't sit back there and play during worship service. Are you converted? Man, get, get real. Man. What's really going on? And we got too much of that going on at James Road. Amen. A lot of young people here, they're not ready for no baptism. Amen. They need to go swimming. They ain't ready for no water. Because you're playing with God. Amen. And the men and women in this church, we need to start teaching them. Somebody come up to me, little kid, come up to me, 10 years old. I want to be baptized. For what? Because my sister got baptized. They don't need to be baptized for what? Amen. Good, they don't know why they're being baptized. They just like to baptize. They be baptized. <laughs> if you haven't been taught the faith and believed the faith, you don't qualify to be baptized. Right. I'm helping somebody out here. Find out if your kid really want to make some changes. Find out. Look at them. They ain't interested in no Bible. They just want to be baptized because somebody saw somebody else's kid do it. Right. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I'm going to go down next Sunday. <laughs> what is this? Right. Plan. Then watch it. We'll say we got a lot of members at the Church of Christ at Jane if they all come. Well, the thing of it is, I don't believe they're members. Amen. They just got wet. Because they, they don't fit in here. Wait a minute. It was a lot of stones over here that while they was making this temple might that, that never worked. And they couldn't bring them in. See, when you find people don't want to accept the teaching of Christ, what you going to baptize them for? Right. Well, hurry up and baptize them. What? And then don't see no changes. Doing the same. What? Good. Well, see how quiet it is here? Good, preacher. Wait a minute, just look at your own family. I'm looking at my family. How I looked at, taught them the truth and watched it. They wasn't ready for that. Right. They just did it. I'm going to get them off my back. I'm going to be baptized. But as soon as I get away from here, I'm going back to my old same stuff. Right. Brethren, you leave that alone. Right. Oh, boy, they think it is. A lot of time, women, grown women, grown men, they come down and be baptized, get the wife off of them. See, every time I look around, you need to be baptized. Wait a minute. I remember before I obeyed the gospel, uh, Brother Joe, Brother Shanks came to my house on my shelf. He said, Brother, hey, Brother Shanks, don't you think it's about time for you to get wet? I said, I'm wet now from sweating and working in this sun. <laughs> he said, do you think it's about ready to be baptized? I said, no. He said, why? I ain't stopped chewing my tobacco. I had made my mind up to leave the Catholic Church totally. I'm still trying to drink my whiskey. I'm not ready for that. I'll let you know. And when I was convinced that the Catholic Church was the wrong church, I'll sit in my garage and cry. So God, give me a chance to make it to be baptized in the Christ. Amen. And when he baptized me before service, January the 22nd, 1978, Guess what? I don't plan on missing. Amen. I'm not, you ain't gonna tell me about I'm gonna give. If I'm not there, I'm gonna give. Amen. If I don't go to James Road, if I go to Chicago, I'm gonna find out where I can worship God with the saints before I leave home. Amen. Why? Because I'm not converted to the church, right. I'm converted to Christ Amen. and his church. Yes, sir. Now you check yourself out. Good, check right. yourself out. Look at your children. Look at your children. Good, Look at your children. How many times your children have begged you, Mama, I need to go to service. But if they want to go to a game, hell, yeah, baby, I got to get you there. Yes, sir. Right? They got a gathering. They got a party. Yes, I got to get my child there. But says, now, see, you're calm-minded. And see, that's what don't fit. Hey, man, I'm helping somebody out here. Oh, boy, that's good, isn't it? Right? Repentance. Amen. Total commitment. To Wait a minute. Total commitment. 
You got to value your own soul. Wait a minute. You heard the conversation about the chicken, the hen, and the hog. They said, let's fix breakfast this morning. And the hens, the hog said, yeah. Uh, the hen said, I'll furnish the eggs. And said to the pig, you furnish the ham. Wait a minute. You're committing to, to the egg, but it ain't going to cost your life. But if they're going to have ham, it's going to cost that pig his life. Total sacrifice. Total sacrifice. Yes, when you come to Christ, it's total commitment. Amen. Total commitment. Everything else is second. Yes, you got to give your life, whole life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now you're ready to be baptized. Amen. See, because you made your mind up, you're ready to follow the rules. Amen. That good? good. Hey, hey, man, right? Amen. Understanding and appreciation to the truth. It's time for me to quit. Hear, believe, repentance, confession, baptism into Christ. Guess what Christ does? Listen to me, this brother. Listen to me. John Shannon, when he baptizes a person, I don't add you to the church. Right. The Lord is who adds you. Right. I'm just baptizing you. Right. And guess what? He doesn't add stones. Watch it. That I had won't fit. Right. Somebody said, Brother Sin, I never heard that. It took me years to come to this conclusion. Because when I first heard it, holy. If you don't believe, but there's a lot of folks been immersed in water, but they won't fit. Are, are you fitting? Good, and I tell you what, I ain't he ain't been this quiet here yep. since we had a funeral, man. Amen. Boy, it's quiet, isn't it? Right? Now, I'm not trying to get you to just be baptized in water so you can say I was baptized. See, if, you don't, if you're doing it for the wrong reason, you can be baptized in a pond and know every bullfrog in the pond. It ain't going to do you no good at all. Because right. you got to have the right teaching and believe the right teaching and go in and say, I'm converted to Christ. Whatever he tells me to do now, I'm going to do it. Right. And then I got to keep coming to learn the second teaching. Amen. See, a lot of people never get the second teaching. Somebody said, I don't understand the second teaching. I heard a story one time, Sister North Lee, about a bee, a honeybee, and a wasp got together. And the, the, the wasp said, would you show me how to make a hive and honey? And the bee said, certainly. So it took them about two or three days there and showed the wasp how to make a hive. A nest. And then the, the, the wall said, well, don't worry about it, Mr. Mr. B. I, I, I can make the honey. He ain't made honey to this day. Because <laughs> he wouldn't listen. Right. He wouldn't listen. You understand, Mike? He, he thought he, some people just get enough to be dangerous. Right? right? Take the second teaching. Right. You need to get, take your advantage to come and get all the teaching that you can get right. to make yourself stronger. To be a pillar in the church of Christ. If you're here, we'll come. Do it right now. Is that all right? Wait a minute. Wait on a minute. Brother Sam, I thought you were finished. Well, I did too. I did too. We did. <laughs> I did too. But we're going to stand now. We're going to stand. Would you come as together we stand and sing? Amen. We certainly hope that you've enjoyed today's lesson preparing people to fit into the kingdom, uh, the holy temple in the Lord. Thank you.